All right, so I am currently at level... Ooh, daily gold. Level 8 of my keep. I just upgraded it. Also, if you are looking for a clan or looking for joining a game, you should join uh, this one and join our clan. We don't have very many people in here. We're still getting started on it. And I played this game back in, like, the 90s, I think it was, as a kid. How about you? Did you play it? I, I did, back when it wasn't this style. Yeah. Was back like, when it wasn't pay to win. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and it was, like, five pixels. Like, each character is, like, oh, yeah. a little green and gray, gray dot. It was, it was great. But I like the campaign on there a lot. A lot of people nowadays, they don't seem to play the campaign for yeah, some it's reason. it's all about the online game. Yeah, go live. You buy yeah. the game, take it yeah. out of the package, go straight yeah. to live. Yeah. Anywho, go check us out. Immortal Peeps, Age of Empires, great app. Unfortunately, it's pay to play, but you can play without paying. You just have to be patient. Right, which is what we've done. Right, and I honestly think that this is like way more complex than uh, Clash of Clans. Honestly. Yeah. Like Clash of Clans, you kind of just drop your troops and then you hope and pray they go the direction you want. Right. Even though, like, so like on this, you can actually control where they're going. You can change after you've told them where to go somewhere. You can change that spot. So basically, what I'm doing here is. The best weapons of defense, I think, right here is the Trebet. So I, I got to say, some of the names of these weapons, I have yeah. a hard time. Like, I'll be recording a video, I'm like, oh, how do you pronounce yeah. that? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes. the, the emplacement. Right. So they have, basically, it's a giant catapult. They have a catapult here, these little ones, yeah. that are called catapults, and this weird catapult. That one goes extra far. And so what I try to do is get uh, this uh, flamethrower guy right next to him um, because... These guys right here will destroy it. The the number eight you see there. I oh, don't yeah. even know what they're called. Those are the, like the axemen. I don't know what they're called either. But yeah, aren't they the resource guys? No. No. The resource guys are the red ones. That's they right. they go just after the closest thing to them. That is a what is this right here? The watch signal. They'll take out the watch signal and then they'll take out the catapults. Those are the first things that they go to automatically on their own. The yellow guys are the ones with the ladders. Yeah. All yeah. Right. They'll jump the walls. So then also, uh, my, my favorite heroes that I like to use, whoops, that's not a hero, is Joan of Arc. She's my favorite by far. And, um, and then this guy right here, uh, Frank or Frankenbeans, Charles, Frank, <laughs> Charles Martel. Frank <laughs> Charles Frank, close. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I'll, I'll show, I, I had a gameplay earlier today. I'll, I'll show that real quick. Uh, see if I can find it. It was really good. I mean, I didn't. I was just uh, looting, trying to get. I wasn't necessarily trying to get a home run. I was just trying to get some free loot. Yeah. And um, watch, uh, watch how I uh, bait these guys out. See if I, I'm checking to see. If, okay, yeah, I'm in the right game. So, so these green uh, horsemen right here are mine. You can see. And basically, I just took a loop around the entire city. I'm getting their troops. I'm gonna lose most of these guys, but I don't care. I'm just trying to get all their troops out. Cause see, these guys down here, they have it set to defend not attack so they're not going to come near me until i get closer to them so i got to get all these troops to get close enough to me now they're going to follow me no matter what and then i'm just going to try to get all the way back up here and see they have troops up here too and they're not coming after me until i get closer to them so are you literally going to run the entire castle yep. oh, absolutely that's an awesome idea. so so then i get all my troops into one spot and and you know what they can't catch up to you Right. So it's not like they're damaging you. Right. The, the towers will pick off one or two. But again, I don't care if all these horses die. Because once they get on a, a real big party up here, I'm going to drop my favorite, Joan of Arc, right in the middle. And bam, you have an entire army to take out their army. Bam. Oh, they yeah. all just became mine. Oh, that's awesome. So one problem wow, you got to look out. Impressive. Yeah. And she can do that three times. And I'm sure after you level her up, she can do it more often. Let's slow it down real quick. So you just saw that explode, the, the batter horn or rammer or whatever it's called. You got to be careful with those guys because uh, they'll have those troops that come out from under the ground. They'll take out a catapult or, or the rammers really fast. So right. typically I try to make sure I have a swordman or an archer next to either one of them when I launch. So how did you get through the wall so fast? I didn't see what you used to break that wall. Uh, so the gate just came down that quick. Yeah, I, I use... Uh, this guy right here, nice. Siege Ram, and yeah. he's level five, so yeah. he hits pretty hard. Yeah. So typically, what I what I'll do is I'll have five to six pikemen, uh, five to six um, uh, these swordmen here, yep. and I'm I'm sure I'm saying the names wrong. I'm, it's going to take too long to zoom in and get the proper name. Eight of these gold guys, one to two of these battering rams, depending on the mood. That changes sometimes, mm -hmm. and then I get six of these longbow, not not these crummy short bow arrow guys. Yeah. 
the kings are over here, the long ones. Yeah. The long bows. Six of those. Six of these heavy sword men. There's four of them. They can take on a massive yes. amount of yes, heat. Yes, those are my favorite. They yeah. can. There's four of them, and they can literally just take a beating. Right. Ever. Yeah. And, and they actually deal a lot of damage. Their only downfall is they're very slow. Yeah. Yeah, you have to push them far ahead of them. But another thing you can do with those uh, heavier guys is send them out towards, like, a catapult or uh, one of those towers, and then the towers will be shooting at them, and then you drop a catapult, and then it takes down the tower super fast. And then last, so I get the two, two of the uh, bat or the catapults, uh, trebi checks or whatever. And then these, uh, there's several different swordmen here. You got uh, some that are for battlemen, and then some that throw swords. My favorite though is this guy because he is level three, but 658 damage. So they die pretty quick, but they can jump in there and light it on fire. And once the building catches on fire, it burns for a little while before it finally goes down. So right now I don't have, I should have set this up for my actual typical run. Uh, right now this is more of a, oh yeah, it is my typical, okay, good, I, I set it up. <laughs> so just as a comparison, what's the damage per second for the knight? So that other one was 658, so I'm kind of curious what so, that is. So the knight templar is 120, and that's a level 3. So how about the, the other the swordsman guys right. in packs of 4? Yeah, that guy. This one? No. Yeah, the one next to it. All right, this guy goes 156. Right. The guy that I like uh, is 658. No, and then these guys right there. Oh yeah, the the one that doesn't have a horse. Yeah, <laughs> right. That's yeah. Okay, so, so see, they got it pretty high, but they have yeah. a lot of health. Yeah, and I, they're I slow. What you're saying. They're very and they're slow. slow. So yeah. so they get in the range of that target, and they're already getting hit for ten minutes before they finally get close enough to start swinging. Right. And then if there's a wall there, they can't shoot over the wall. Which oh, by the way, these these longbowmen have a tremendous range, and they can shoot over the wall. So if you're farming, and they got like their farm storage or their food storage right next to that wall. You don't even have to it. attack it. You just hit that and then let them die, and who cares? That's awesome. So then uh, with my heroes, I leveled it up so I can actually have two heroes at the same time, which is super nice. Um, but if I can't have uh, Joan of Arc and this guy right here, uh, typically my next combo I use is this guy and this guy, which I don't even know their names, honestly. But this top guy right here, what he'll do is he'll go up to a wall one time, and he'll bulldoze underneath it and knock the wall down. And when he's under it, they can't shoot him. But he dies pretty much instantly, so it's basically like a free magic wand to take out one wall. And then this guy right here, he has a giant catapult too, which I think he shoots a little bit further than the typical ones do, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But he also has a boost, so you drop him next to your catapults, and they got three catapults shooting, and they shoot pretty far, and he speeds up their, their firing range for a brief amount of time. So that's a pretty good combo. Yeah, his health is 15,000. Yeah, That's and then good. right now our our clan we got an embassy here where we're trying to um we're trying to get this perk. I'm not so sure about these perks yet. I don't know how good it is. Yeah, I mean I have no idea. I don't contribute any of those apples. That's crazy, Nate. Yeah, all all of them. Eight point two million. So yeah. if you're playing, I need your help because <laughs> that's a lot of apples. My my ho um hoppers only hold one hundred fifty thousand. So yeah. that's most of what I would have. <laughs> Mine are leveling up right now. That it's going to push them over a million for uh food and lumber as soon as those updates are done. But I'm also level 8 and these upgrades are giant. Yeah. But check out this wall by the way. I gotta point this out. I just got my first level 10 wall and it has 17,000 hit health. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, and it costs 22,000 stone to build it. So you can see the difference there from that and a level nine. But let me let me jump into battle real quick, just for kicks and giggles, and let's yep. uh, watch some of my gameplay. You can see my uh, strategy here, and I'll just try to talk it through as best as I can while I'm actively fighting here. All right. So first of all, what I'm looking for is I'm trying to find one that doesn't have these flamethrowers right next to the catapults. And also, I like to have at least fifty thousand of stone or food, whatever I'm trying to gain. I want to see at least 50,000 in that category. And this guy, he's got his catapults right next to that flamethrower, so he's going to beat me pretty good probably. But he has a lot of food. I think I'm going to, just for kicks, we're not going to spend too much time hunting for him. I'm just going to go for him. All right. And uh, first thing is these uh, sword throwers are going to be an issue. So we'll drop the guy there, let them start playing with that. While they're doing that, let's open up this gate, press and hold down on the sword, drag it over, drop it in. And once he gets inside, now they can't shoot at him. He's invisible inside there. He's, he's going to knock it down, have some fun. Oh, that's totally awesome. 
Once it's down, he's going to be totally exposed though. Here comes our little horseman. So unfortunately, I don't have Joan of Arc, so I'm going to have to drop the pikemen. Get him away from that flame a little bit because they're too dumb to walk right into it. <laughs> Fire hot. All right. Run away. Drop some massive sword guys. And then we're going to throw in some of these uh, gate hopper people, whatever you call them. And then with this catapult, notice I don't let them just shoot at any random one. I'm letting them hit a corner so he can double dip. That's a good practice to get into. And then throw some casualties out in front so they can have something to pick on. And then now that that flame's gone, I'm going to set him there, let him start taking that out. I'm going to throw some uh, knights down just in case one of those ground guys show up. Where is this guy going? He's driving the wrong way. Catapult? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Drop some horsemen here and here. Let them run in. That's almost gone. I see what you mean by the double dipping. Yeah. That just two hits and it was out. Yeah, and, and so now also once they're done clearing one area, then they can just immediately go in and start clearing the next one. So now I'm gonna spray all my um, my yellow guys right here, and hopefully they make it far enough. My goal is that they take out I, at least one of these catapults here. They're gonna destroy my entire group if I don't get that done. Also, we got a base right here. Keep those behind your walls because people can just drop troops in and take them out super fast. You want them to be able to keep spawning as often as possible. This guy's protected behind a wall. I don't want him to keep sending troops, so I'm going to have that kill him. That's what I was talking about, those longbows, dude. Yeah. You see that? Yeah, I see that. Yeah, so they're going to just go ahead and hit that right. And they're actually even. doing a really good job on the damage there. Mm -hmm. And so while we're over there, we weren't looking up here. Basically, everything got killed. Not surprised. Yeah, so the pikemen are going to hopefully take out these remaining horses. So if I was looking more analytically here, I would have gone for those two uh, spawning points quicker before they had a chance to reproduce more troops. I got one more uh, catapult here. We'll launch it right there. And hopefully we'll get a couple more points. This is a pretty bad run, honestly, but at least I got enough food to way more than break even. Yep. Yeah, it's going to cost probably 5000 in food to rebuild all this, so I definitely gained my money back. So far you've made about 25, 23. Yeah. And then I'm going to try to let a horse run here just in case. Sometimes these uh, reinforcements don't show up until you get close enough to them or you beat enough the base. So it's always nice to know that they can't reinforce later on when you're not looking. All right, your catapult's moving in. Yeah, I'm going to try to get him on this archer tower. I totally forgot about my battering ram, not going to lie. I'm going to let him go up there. He's not going to do much damage, but what he is going to do is he's going to take a lot of damage. Yep. And so that's going to give my guy some time to recover. And unfortunately, you that long-range catapult, yep, that long range catapult that just destroyed it before he had a chance. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, so I'm going to move these archers over here. At this point, I'm just going to consider this an, a total loss. So I'm just going to try to mooch some of this stone off of this before they kill me. Because we got some horsemen up there. That are, oh, no. Nice. So the knights took out the, the horsemen. But still nowhere near my 50% mark I need to hit. Obviously, you're not going to hit the, the main base with what troops are left. And he had a really good defense. So right now, we're just... It would be nice to have, have a uh, a single star, but you need 50%, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. So just like Clash of Clans, I think. Yeah. 50%, and then the base gives you the other. So we can we can uh, or milk star, a couple right? more uh, archers out here, but I'm pretty sure taking out these three things here and that one thing up there isn't going to cut it for us, unfortunately today. You're going to get some stone out of that, which is good. You almost collected 10,000 stone. Yeah, I see a food hopper right here, so I'm going to drop those guys there, and hopefully they can get some bites without that. Perfect. Yeah. So looks like they can. Yeah. yeah. So they're going to drain that whole thing. So even though I don't think I'm going to get 50%, I'll be happy if I do, but I don't think I am. I'm going to at least eat a lot of their food. Which is something that you need. And you're going to run out of time, I think, before your archer can probably die. You right. Can scrape all that stuff on the edges. Right. And these guys are getting hit a little bit, so I'm going to scoot them over. How oh, are they? What's hitting them? That that massive long range guy right here. Wow. Yeah, he did a great job, or she, uh, combining his uh, flamethrowers and those those things real close to each other. Yeah. Makes a pretty devastating combo. Yeah. So I don't have the flamethrower yet. Yeah, it so sounds like it's pretty devastating yeah. ground troops. Yeah, ground troops, it, it destroys them fast. That You, you want to risk a catapult to try to take that out if you can. Because they'll just they'll destroy an entire... You can have 100 troops right underneath it. It'll, yeah, hit it'll them burn all, all of them. Yeah. yeah, And then they light, light on fire so they continue taking hits even after they're out of the way. 
So you get them in the fire and you drag them away, thinking they're safe. No, they're they're still they're burning. Still burning. Dead. Yeah, they're done. They're roast. They're toasted. All right, so these guys are not going to be able to get this lumber for very long because they're in range, unfortunately. Oh yeah, I see that. I'm pretty sure they're going to be in range here with this food, but just for kicks and giggles, we'll move them over there and see if they. We cleared out that entire row. We're getting closer to the 50%. Again, double check the corners. Sometimes they hide them in the corners. But I don't think we're going to hit that 50% today. Well, we're farming for stuff, so it's not a huge issue. Yeah. You just uh, lose some crowns? Yeah, you lose like 12, 12 crowns, I think. And, oh, look, uh, they can, they're hitting you. Yeah, they are. Plus, you run out of yeah, time. Yeah, I have four anyway. seconds left. So this guy, he took a way wide turn to get to that food source. <laughs> So there we go. Got got like 40,000 food. That was the exciting part. 34,000. Yep. Close. Yep. And uh, what, I'm, what I'm excited for leveling up with this level 8 uh, uh, keep right here, as soon as it's done loading. There we go. Is uh, these, these uh, camps right here. And they take 900,000 food to level them up. Oh, my goodness. And that gives you one slot. <laughs> one slot upgrade. That's a tremendous amount of food. Yeah. That's basically your entire hopper right yeah. now. So almost 4 million food to upgrade all four of these bases. And it takes like seven days to upgrade it, I think. Wow. Yeah, seven days and 12 hours. So what I'm looking at here is I'm trying to upgrade um, my troops first, get as many of those as I can. And then secondly, uh, my resources. So my lumber, my food, and my stone. Max as quick as I can. And what I do with my walls basically is, um, so let's say, so I got 499 wood right now, 400 uh, food. Uh, if I had a builder available and I had enough lumber to build something, mm -hmm. I would spend every dime of stone I can and just upgrade until I run out of stone. Yep. And then I'd put them on the lumber. So that way I'm not enticing to be looted. You know, someone comes across my channel or my base and like, ah, he doesn't have any stone. He has hardly any food. So you always try to balance it as best you can and plan ahead. So like... You know, in one day, nine hours, I have two more troops available or two more builders available. So my goal is to try to get my food and lumber high enough that the second those guys are ready, if I uh, launch uh, the next upgrade, I literally have no loot left over for the next couple days. So you don't get his often. Yeah, that's a smart move. But yeah, a smart move. So, so that's pretty much uh, my, uh, my take on Age of Empires, just a little dip in there. And uh, we're going to do some gaming here on uh, McTie's channel with Desert Moose. So if you guys want to watch that, go check us out. Uh, thanks for watching. Remember, join and uh, subscribe to our uh, clan. And you can chat with us in there and play with us. And most importantly, watch us on YouTube. Remember, share a smile. They are contagious. See you later.